welcome back to my channel for another video. So firstly, apologies for lack of content on my channel in recent months. I've had a few things personally I've had to sort out and uh, just not been feeling it um, in terms of doing my videos for YouTube. So I do apologise to everyone who supports me, but I am now back and raring to go for the rest of the League One campaign following the posh. This is a bit of an impromptu video as obviously today there's been announcements about managerial changes. So we'll be discussing the outgoing manager Grant McCann and incoming manager Fergie. So yeah, let's go through the first part of the video and discuss outgoing manager Grant McCann. So let's get into the video and discuss then the news today that uh, Grant McCann and his assistant Cliff Byrne have left Peterborough United and they've parted company with the club after being in charge since February 2022. Um, this season they've uh, seen 11 wins, 11 defeats and two draws. And uh, yeah, it's um, come to a, a disappointing end for Grant McCann, in my opinion. Um, started the season off pretty well. We've got some good results against like the Sheffield Wednesday and uh, Lincoln. Some good uh, games at home and we're playing some decent football. But in the last month or so it's really tailed off and we just haven't been seeing... Peter United that we all know and love, um, not the sort of football that we've been expecting from a Grant McCann type of team because he's similar um, in terms of the new manager Fergie which we'll go through later in terms of how he plays, style of play, attacking football but his formations have been a bit strange, um, he's been a bit all over the place in terms of the chain, the sort of decisive moments in games he makes and uh, I'm not really surprised that um, the owners have made the decision to part company with Grant McCann. Um, as I say, it's disappointing because I did like Grant McCann. I think he's a decent manager. It just hasn't panned out as well for him as he he would have hoped, as well as the fans, because uh, quite a few were optimistic at the start of the season, as I said, in terms of the results we were getting and the sort of football we were playing. But it hasn't been great recently. And obviously, Grant McCann has now left the club. Um, so I do wish him all the best for the future. It's, it's, it's a shame he has come to an end, but um, we move on and uh, yeah, wish him all the best in his future endeavours. So let's discuss the new manager of Peterborough United, it's Darren Ferguson. So let's discuss Grant McCann's replacement then and uh, not really surprised it's Darren Ferguson once again for his fourth spell in charge of the club. Um, my point of view, very poor appointment. I don't really think it's a great appointment from the club and um, the owners have gone for a very weak decision in terms of management um in my personal opinion i think it's been on the cards for a while i think they, darren ferguson has been in and around the club behind the scenes and it's kind of been grant mccann hasn't done well he's gone fergie come in and sort it out sort of thing and um we'll see i was speaking to a few people at uh, where i work today and um, they said better the devil you know in terms of it could be a hell of a lot worse you could have a manager that's not experienced in, in this league at all fergie has got experience in league one he has got promotion um, with Posh in recent times, back in 2020, um, in, during COVID times when we got promoted into the Championship. So he has got experience in League One, but as I said, from my point of view, it's a very poor appointment for the, the owners. I think it's an easy decision. Um, it's not one that a lot of fans I've seen on social media have really been impressed with. It's a decision that, as I said, not, doesn't bring much security either because it's in the statement, I think it says that there's not been any sort of permanent decision made. He's just going to come in until the end of the season. So again, if he gets promotion, he probably will get the job again. Um, but if he doesn't get promotion with the posh this season, then again, the managerial um, situation will be looked at. But um, yeah, overall, I'm, I'm disappointed with the owners. I think it's a poor decision to bring Fergie back in because why would you sack a manager who wasn't doing well in the championship, bring in previous manager and Grant McCann and then sack Grant McCann and bring in the old manager again. It's just a bit up in the air. And um, there's a lot of things going around the club at the moment. Obviously, Darren McAntony has recently come out and said he's going to stay at the club. He's not going to leave like he originally planned. So that's all up in the air. And, and now 30's back. So um, it will be interesting to see what happens, especially in the January transfer window. Um, will Fergie bring in some decent players? Will some players leave? We don't know. It's all up in the air in terms of what's going to happen. Obviously, Jack Marriott recently has been told by Grant McCann that he's been out of favour in the team. So could he now come back in with Fergie? We don't know. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm disappointed with, with the appointment of Darren Ferguson again. I don't think it's the right one. I think we need a fresh start. But um, I think it also says in the statement about January can quite be, be quite a tricky sort of time of year to bring in a manager. So they've gone for an easy option, in my opinion, in Grant, in uh, Darren Ferguson. 
um, but we'll see how it pans out and hopefully um, he does do well but all we can do as fans is support the team, support the manager and uh, hopefully he can lead us to another promotion this season but um, yeah overall very disappointed with the appointment of Darren Ferguson as the new posh manager. So just going to go through my final thoughts on everything in terms of the management situation today. Disappointed that Grant McCann has gone and also disappointed that Darren Ferguson has been brought back in. I think it's a backward step for the club. I don't think it's a way forward to bring in a previous manager. Um, obviously, a lot of fans said that last time we had Fergie and obviously then Ferguson got his promotion back into the championship. But will he do it this season? I don't know. Are the players hungry enough the rest of the campaign to push on and try and get promotion out of League One? We don't know. Um, again, the transfer window is all up in the air. Who's going to come? Who's going to come in? Who's going to go out? We again, we don't know. Um, it's early on in the January transfer window anyway. But um, yeah, overall, I'm disappointed with the news today. I think Grant McCann. It's ended badly for him, sadly. And but they have gone backwards, in my opinion, in bringing in Darren Ferguson again because um, he might get some good results. But I don't think it's the right appointment. We need some fresh blood in the club uh, to really push forward and to be where we want to be. Um, so it's all up in the air at the moment, but we will see what happens and obviously we can only back the manager and the team for the rest of the campaign and hopefully Darren Ferguson can get the team back to winning ways and uh, playing some good football. So uh, yes, yeah, so we have come to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching once again and the next video will be against uh, Charlton. So I'll be doing a preview and a match day vlog of the videos. So join me for those videos on my channel. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back. So thank you very much for watching once again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel for latest content.